In this video, we're going to solve this very simple initial value problem using Laplace transforms. So for notation, the Laplace transform of y, we're going to call that big Y of s. And it can be shown that the Laplace transform of the derivative of y, y prime, this is equal to little s, big Y of s, minus little y of 0. And there's similar formulas for higher order derivatives. However, in this problem, we only have the first derivative, so uh, no need. Solution. The very first step is to take the Laplace transform of both sides. So we'll take the Laplace of dy dt minus y, and that's equal to the Laplace of 1. The Laplace is linear, so this is equal to the Laplace of dy dt minus the Laplace of y. And the Laplace of 1 is simply 1 over s. That one's pretty easy, and most people have it memorized. All right, the Laplace of dy dt, well, dy dt is y prime, so that's simply going to be this. So it's little s, big Y of s, minus y of 0, minus, and then the Laplace of y, we said that was big Y. So big Y of s, and this is equal to 1 over s. At this point, we'll use our initial condition. y of 0 is 0, so this term vanishes. It's gone. So we have little s, big Y of s, minus big Y of s, and that's equal to 1 over little s. So step one, take the Laplace transform of both sides, use the fact it's linear, work everything out, apply these formulas, uh, use your initial conditions. Step two, we want to solve for big Y of s. So we'll factor out big Y of s. So we have s minus 1. And over here we have 1 over little s. To finish, we'll divide by s minus 1. That's the same thing as multiplying by 1 over s minus 1. Easier to see it that way, maybe. So these cancel. And so we have big Y of s is equal to 1 over little s, s minus 1. Now recall that the Laplace transform took y and sent it to big Y of s. That means that the inverse Laplace transform has to take big Y of s and send it back to y. Again, the Laplace transform took y and sent it to big y. So the inverse Laplace takes big y and sends it back to little y. So it's the inverse. So we have the Laplace transform of y. Right? That's what big Y of s is. So to find y, all we have to do is take the inverse Laplace of big y. So the next step is to take the inverse Laplace of big Y every single time. So you take the Laplace transform of both sides, apply your initial conditions, solve for big Y, and then find the inverse Laplace, and you are done. It's it. It's over. So here we have to use partial fractions. So this is A over S plus B over S minus 1. And let's do this the fastest way possible. Let's use the cover-up method. So to use the cover-up method, well, you look at A. Let's do A first. So here's A over S. And you ask yourself, what makes the bottom 0? Well, 0. If S is equal to 0, there's a problem. So then you come over here and you cover up the S, and you plug in 0 into the other S's. So it's 1 over 0 minus 1. That's negative 1. Let's do B. Here's B. You ask yourself, what makes the bottom 0? Well, 1. So if S is equal to 1, then you get 1 minus 1, which is 0. Game over. So S equals 1 is going to make the bottom 0. So you come over here, and you cover up the S minus 1, and you plug in 1. So 1 over 1 equals 1. So it's called the cover-up method because when you're finding A, you cover up the S. When you're finding B, you cover up the S minus 1. And so finally, we can rewrite what we have. So big Y of S is equal to, well, let's see, A was negative 1, so it's negative 1 over S, plus, and we said B was 1, so it's 1 over S minus 1. And so now we'll take the inverse Laplace. So Y 
is equal to the inverse Laplace of big Y of S. So it's equal to the inverse Laplace, showing all the steps here, of negative 1 over S plus 1 over S minus 1. And we know that the inverse Laplace transform is linear. So this is negative, and then we have the inverse Laplace of 1 over S plus the inverse Laplace of 1 over S minus 1. So here we get negative, and the inverse Laplace of 1 over S is simply 1. And then here, we're just going to get e to the t. And so that is the final answer. So we use some formulas here at the end. Uh, the inverse Laplace of 1 over S minus A is equal to e to the a t. So in our case, a was equal to 1. Right? a is 1, and so we get e to the 1t, uh, which is e to the t. So I hope that made sense.